Unlimited doesn't exist without the plant community. Um, Greenery Unlimited was founded by Rebecca Belin and Adam Bashir. They're a husband and wife team who have been working in the plant industry for over 10 years. Um, and it started because they wanted to help New Yorkers connect to the feeling that being in nature creates, right, as a human being, the way that we feel when we are engaging with nature and experiencing with nature um, in this city that we love so much that is concrete bound. And that is, um, you know, that's where space is tight and, and we have to really bring greenery into the city uh, to be able to have it as a part of our daily lives. So our community is really, you know, for, I mean, hopefully, eventually, community is worldwide. It's a worldwide <laughs> community of plant people. But um, at this point, we are really about helping people um, bring plants into their indoor spaces, into their daily lives, and teaching them how that impacts their quality of life, and helping all of our community um, become not just better, like plant caretakers, but better environmental stewards as an extension of building relationships with these plants inside helps us build relationship with earth outside. Wow. We wanted to make sure that we were we were teaching our customers about design from a place that was like sustainable and that was um, not just like sustainable for earth, but sustainable for you through your life. So that's really what Biophilia, um, that's how biophilia comes into the work that we're doing. And I kind of go on and on and because it's, it's like hard to pin in. Essentially what we want to do is we want to be able to design for you the feeling of sitting outside in front of the ocean while the sun is setting and the breeze is ruffling your hair but in your living room. You know, like that's what we're trying to do with the bird of paradise, with the, you know, the trailing string of hearts, with like maybe your humidifier going, maybe some like, you know, you get your playlist on Spotify and then you're Set. Snake plants are, um, what I know I just said that snake plants are one of our best sellers, but I also think that people kind of um, look down on snake plants because they're so easy and people think like, oh, I don't want a beginner plant, I want something like cooler, I want something fancier. But a snake plant can survive and thrive in bright direct light. The snake plant can survive and thrive in low light. A snake plant can withstand temperature fluctuations. A snake plant could be neglected for months and continue to live. Like, I think that is a mark of a truly incredible plant. Like, that plant is resilient as fuck. And that, to me, is like, deserves so much respect. And then also, they come in so many different gorgeous varieties. The foliage is amazing. They're super sculptural. I'm like, if you hate on snake plants, then like you're missing, you're missing the point here. And set our limit, 10 customers. We, should, we operate a wait list now, um, which is hilarious, because I thought I left restaurants to get off of wait list managing, and now I manage a wait list again. Um, but that's fun, it's fine, we make it a party. You know, we answer questions in the line. We're really grateful that people are like willing to line up to shop, that's like so moving to me. Um, and I think also we just recognize that when people don't have communal spaces to go to, especially in the dead of winter in New York, um, they come here, you know, they come here to like, just talk to someone, to like be in a space that isn't their apartment, to have space, physical space around them. Um, so we take that really seriously, um, just noting that like there's the physical health and then there's also like the mental health and knowing that having plants and taking care of plants Teaching people to take care of plants is also teaching people how to um, have self-care and take care of their mental health. So, it's a big one. Business is great then. <laughs> Keep coming in. <laughs> we need you.